Pavaday, welcome to the Laddie Esports League. Uh, it is the playoffs of our spring split. I'm your host, Consanity, and I'm joined by the special commentator today, Cly. How are you doing, man? Hello. Good morning. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm pretty excited to watch the games today. Yep, yep. So I, you know, I know some of you are wondering why come the stream is not on today, or uh, why is this being played on Monday? This is a re pre-recorded. Uh, video of the uh, uh, quarterfinals of our league. So we had six weeks of round robin where each team got to play each other team. And um, that would help determine the seeding for the playoffs. And our playoffs is split into a winners and losers bracket, a six man bracket. So in the top of the bracket, we have Collab Koalas versus FD Flakers, uh, the first and the fourth seeds. Uh, and then we also have UOG versus Good as Gold, which you probably saw that match yesterday. The second seeded UOG versus third seeded Good as Gold on the Triton Esports channel. Those games are best out of three. And the loser uh, heads down into the loser bracket. UOG and Good as Gold, the loser challenged Leonotics yesterday. And we are going to focus on the Collab Koalas versus FD game and the loser versus uh, OHS, Okuru High School. So uh, it will be three weeks of um, uh, playoff action for the spring split. And by the end, we will have a champ. I think it'll be fun. Uh, it's pretty interesting. And we are about to start with that se uh, quarterfinal game uh, right now in the winner's bracket between Collab Koalas and FD Flakers. Collab Koalas, the number one team, number one seeded team in the league, as well as the defending champions. So just waiting for these guys to begin. Clyde, oh, what do you think about the matchup? Do you uh, do you think that uh, Collab is just going to walk all over FD, or does, has FD shown anything in the recent um, past to make them look like they have a chance? Okay, so honestly, I think this is a good matchup between the two teams because uh, in this, uh, during the group stage, uh, FD defeated Collab Koalas unexpectedly because i also cast that game with admin and um at first it looked like they were losing in the beginning just because they got invaded early game and all that stuff uh it wasn't looking too grim for them but then um due to the team comp of fd flakers at that time you know they won mm -hmm. uh towards the end because uh collab koala didn't really have a good team comp now i'm really curious what collab will do this game i wonder if they're gonna abuse anything that's been out Currently, what's really strong right now is Diana jungle and Morgana jungle, and like even Vladimir. But I wonder if they're gonna let the Vladimir through in the fixed and bans, mm. since um, all shit can can really abuse Vladimir as of right now. That's true, but we see the the bans. Uh, you know, um, both teams playing exceptional. Collab Koalas, uh, Mervin, uh, Aim for Subliminal, mm. Isaac, uh, Pongkins, the you know one of the best junglers, and then of course Tiff as the ADC, a strong team that they've played together for, you know, many seasons, as long as Laddie Esports has been around. And, and of course, years prior to that, these guys have got great chemistry. They're ready to rock. Yeah. And they're challenging a FD team that was pretty young and you know, was upstart and did well, led by Joe May, the Rookie of the Year last year. But they've added some new guys. I mean, they had Ocean Can, who's their top laner, but they've yeah. added Toxic Wood Player, who's you know shown to be pretty good. Oh, okay. But we see those bands coming out right away. We see the Yone or Yone band, and yes. as well as the Vladimir band. So uh, those two are for the Yone band is specifically for Toxic Wood Player, and then the Ocean Can band, which is his Vladimir. Yeah, definitely um, the strongest champs, the the, the best mm -hmm. champs for those two players. And we see the Jace mm -hmm. Respect band. Uh, banning yep. out aim for his for aim just for. Went crazy last week. Yep. So and there goes the Seraphine. Thank God that red side this red side team decided to ban Seraphine because she's really strong. She can be flexed into like three different roles: mid, top, or no, not top, AD carry and support. She just has so much utility right now. And like, if she if she lands a good ultimate in a team fight, I think it's basically over for the mm. uh, the enemy team. Whoever has a uh, whoever's facing against uh, the Seraphine. Now for the Lulu support, uh, I think that's a very good pickup because X Skyla actually plays that champion. So taking away taking it away from her is uh, super good. So I wonder who she's gonna pick uh, against the uh, the Lulu. Now it seems like they're picking for. 
toxic wood player here for his Yasuo. Yeah, uh, you know, I I think FD, oh, ooh, actually, a Jarvan pick, so Jarvan I guess that's pick, straight okay. up the soft cookie jungle pick. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. But, um, you know, I, I think one of FD, the, FD's biggest weaknesses ending the season uh, were when people target ban a uh, toxic wood player. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, you know, especially like last last week. Oh, we saw okay. Four so picks. Wow, there it is. Pick. There goes the Morgana jungle, as I just mentioned it. Yeah. Um, now, I wonder what FD is going to do about this. I wonder what their play style would be to go around the Morgana. What are they going to do to stop the Morgana from steamrolling them right now? So if you don't know why Morgana is really strong right now, her wave clear in the jungle is super fast, just like Udyr before he got nerfed. Hmm. So that means like... Uh, I, I mean, was this like a new jungle. buff to her? It Was it a new yes, buff? Yes, yes. It was just oh, this okay. patch as well, which wow. is like insanely strong. This patch is in like a few days old. Mm -hmm. Wow. So really meta pick here. Yep. And it seems like Pontins is really, really like... Uh, doing his or he's gonna try hard this game because usually we don't see the meta picks from him in these tournaments But it seems like he he's in it for this uh, for this uh, quarterfinals yeah, definitely. So Yasuo does sneak through so that mm -hmm. is a uh, I guess a sigh of relief for maybe toxic wood player assuming that that's uh, You know, they're gonna swap him there. Yeah, but the, uh, his comfort pick. Yeah, um, Lissandra Ban going for Ocean Can here. So I wonder what who's he who he's going to choose here since two of his main um characters has been banned are his champs. And it seems like aim for here is just getting banned out by uh FD flakers here, respecting him. Yeah. So Lulu can be flexed though, right? Like she Yes, she can be flexed. Yeah. Mid support, mid but support. mostly yeah. she should be on the support role. Because mid, she's not really like good in terms of yeah. uh, Scaling. higher play. Yes, yes. But does she uh, pair well with Ash though in lane? Like, yes, she does. Because oh, okay. uh, uh, you can give the shield and like the attack speed uh, bonus and the movement speed bonus as well. Oh, here we go. Malphite. Wow, Malphite pick. Okay, so that's very good with the Jarvan pick as well. Just because. Um, you can just combo with Malphite ult and Yasuo ulti. Very good synergy between the two. And also Jarvin can lock them in also with his Cataclysm uh, ultimate. And it seems like aim for here is going for the Renekton pick. Uh, not bad. You know, that's a very good uh, front line. I wonder what Aurora will be picking here. I have no clues since I really don't know his champion. Oh, Katarina. Yeah, he, we saw him play Katarina a few times. Uh, mm -hmm. That was on hit Katarina, yeah, though. Yeah, on hit Katarina. But the thing is, is it got nerfed in the past few patches before, uh, this, this year. Oh, Nocturne pick. Okay, that's actually a surprising pick. Wait, did he miss pick it or? No, uh, Nocturne Not mid, mid is mid actually really? like a. Uh, metal pick in terms of for pro play because one, his ultimate can he can roam easily with his ultimate, right? It, it covers the dark area, um, very easily, and like he can just roam better than the Yasuo. Hmm, and he also has good wave player too in the mid lane. Wait, so Yasuo on Jomi and Kaisa on Toxic Wood player. Is this a? I'm not sure if they're like just fooling around, but hmm. I'm not really sure. Yeah, and wait a good. minute. Okay, yeah. What if? Hawkins. I guess they're just you know just having fun right now since it's of true seconds. But I, it seems like I'm not sure if it's gonna be Nocturne Jungle or Morgana I mean, mid. You can play Morgana mid and Nocturne Jungle, right? Like, mm -hmm. you, yeah, you yeah, do. you can do that. But preferably, I would love the Morgana Jungle because of the fast clearing, better than the Jarvan. Yeah, oh, the there you go. There's there the it is. Jungle. So it, it is Morgana Jungle. Oh, these and mind games, mid. the high level. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
the mind games between these guys. I actually didn't uh, have any uh, intermission things built for today, so unfortunately, uh -huh. we're going to have to look at this 2 minute and 53 second uh, countdown. But just in case you are joining, you are watching the playoffs of the spring split for Latte Esports League of Legends tournament. Uh, all six teams qualified, played six weeks of round robin. Here we are in the first round of the playoffs, and you're watching the first seeded collab koalas take on the fourth seeded uh, FD Flakers in a winner's bracket match. Um, the winner to move on to the next round, and the loser who will play immediately after this game versus uh, Okudu High School uh, should be a good match. The, the, the most intriguing thing to take away, I believe, is that FD beat Collab Koalas in the regular season. Cloud, you were there to stream that or to record that game. Yeah. Um, and that, that is such the a good only one. defeat. That was Collab Koala's only defeat. But Collab Koalas have, have shown signs of weakness, I think. You know, I, they almost, I won't say they almost lost to University, to UOG, but uh, mm -hmm. they were relatively far behind in, in that game as well. Um, yes, yeah. But were able to just outscale and, and, and close mm -hmm. it out when, when required. Uh, you know, they're just very experienced, just a very strong team. But, um, you know, yeah. anything can happen. Uh, the difficult thing for FD here is that this is two, a two out of three set. So they can't just rely on, you know, stealing one game and, and calling it mm -hmm. a day. They have yes. to win. Uh, two. I agree. So this will be very challenging, but it should be interesting. Looking at the lineup, though, do you think either team has a so, distinct advantage? I, the one the one team that I'm really leaning towards to is Collab Koalas because they have mixed damage, you know. They, they have an AP... Uh, damage which is the morgana and on the side of fd they don't really have any ap damage so they're all ad right and like um uh they're only reliant on ad damage malphite sure has some ap but it's not gonna be enough right he's just gonna be building tank but i don't know maybe he might build full full ap you know that'll be a little bit juicy for a quarterfinals game for fd sure but other than that, I think Collab Koala has a better team comp than FD here. You know, something also that sticks out to me is uh, whenever I see uh, X Skyla or Skilla play, I don't really mm -hmm. uh, see her on the champs that are more like initiating, like the initiation type of champs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? I kind of so, agree on that one which, because which I, I usually think see seems her. Kind of weird. She doesn't seem very aggressive in lane, I guess. Mm -hmm. so. I, I, I usually see her on enchanters. Maybe she could have went for the Janna here, or like maybe that yeah, literally got taken away. So I'm not really sure if there's any other enchanters that I can think of as of right now. But yeah, I, I kind of agree on you that one with the Nautilus pick, where she's like meant to engage for her team, right? Mm -hmm. I don't usually see her on that. It's usually the enchanters where you just stay back and peel, yeah, shield, yeah. or heal yeah. for your uh, team. So we'll see how that works out. I mean, yeah, it's a different thing. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with Skyla. She's done really well this season. Uh, mm -hmm. So it should be a good matchup. Like, whoever wins, whoever loses, we're in for a treat. Um, if you're watching yep. this game, it's pre-recorded, obviously. Uh, so check it out. You see that pool party Jarvan. It's very interesting skin there. Oh, right into the game. Oops. Oh, it is an option, right? With the TP too. It's gonna be a lot of lane pressure. So now, um, there's another thing that I like to mention about Nocturne mid too. Sure. So what the thing is about uh, Nocturne mid is that you can ulti and TP at the same time so that when you TP, the enemies don't see where your TP is at. Wait, what? Why, why? Well, I'm sorry, what did you say? They don't, they don't see where you They don't see, yes, you don't, you have to ult first and then TP just because when you ult as Nocturne, as the enemies, you don't see, every, uh, you have limited vision where you can only see yourself. Not even your, you can't even see where your teammates are in the mini map too. Even pings, you can't see pings. Wow. You have to be like at a certain distance to see one another. So. Yeah, uh, that that's a thing that Nocturne can do, Nocturne mid, where he ulties and then TPs, and then he can still use his ulti during the duration of his ult. Hmm. And it seems like we have a pause here. It looks like we're back in. Oh, never mind, I guess not. But honestly, at the end of the day, what really matters is...
how both teams play out. 10, 18. Hold on, I'm just, I'm setting the uh, timer right now. So the teams only have 15 minutes, uh, uh, like a 15 minute uh, grace for for total pauses throughout the course of the game. Mm, okay. So. Let's see. Do you think one team scales better early and another scales better late, or...? So, I think that for the side of FD Flakers, if they want to try to win this match, or at least even out, they have to be ahead early game. Because if they're not ahead of early game, they're just going to probably have a hard time due to their champions. Like Kaisa, she would love to get ahead early, mm -hmm. just because she also scales, but maybe if they can wait it out, uh, they have a winning chance, but at the same time, they have Yasuo and Malphite. There's still not enough AP damage on the side of FD Flakers, unlike um, Collab Koalas. Alright. Let me see this little leech there for the soft cookie. Mm -hmm. So, how Seems about like... Renekton versus um, Malphite up top? How? Um, I think Renekton might lose this matchup just because Malphite is such a good counter against like some bruisers where he could just build straight up armor and then mm -hmm. they'll be just useless. Mm -hmm. So what aim for needs to do is just get his items and try not to fight the Malphite too much because he'll just probably... He might lose uh, a trade and that's not going to be good if he's a low target on the top lane. He could just get ganked by top cookie here. And it looks like Soft Cookie is attempting to gank um, the bot lane of uh, Collab Koalas here, and they don't and they don't know about it actually. It seems like they don't know about it. Uh oh. Now, now. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, and they do get the first blood. Wow, that was such a good hook by Skyla there. If that hook didn't land, that. That gank would have been yeah. a waste of time. But good on Skyla for landing that hook there by the Nautilus. And I mean, I even blew the flash on Lulu, right? So. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it seems like. Oh, another hook oh, there. Oh, another hook. Going. Oh, not, and Tiffany forced to use oh, the flash. Oh, okay. There. So now two flashes gone for bot lane. But very now. Since... Very, very aggressive. But now, since they know that uh, Soft Cookie is in the bot side of his. Uh, team and they had and he hasn't taken his red buff Hunkins sees the opportunity to take his jungle now and set him behind mm -hmm. very good response by Pumpkins, nonetheless and um earlier there was a skirmish between mid laners and um toxic wood player had to flash waste his flash against uh, aurora here just because he was losing the trade Both junglers securing uh, scuttle, scuttle here. But at the end of the day, um, Pankin still wins out just because he has more X XP than um, the soft, soft cookie here. There's really nothing much happening as of right now. Maybe they could. Do an early dragon? Oh, okay. An attempt ganked by Soft Cookie here, but Aurora was wary about it. Okay. Soft Cookie here doesn't know what to do, so he is just going to go. And so get his frog. Seems like a lot of time wasted waiting for a gank opportunity. He's like two levels mm -hmm. behind Pumpkins right now. Yeah, so if Collab Koala knows about this, they he can just Collab can just actually just take Dragon for free just because Soft Cookie is just super behind in terms of like XP and like probably even gold. But it seems like Collab doesn't wanna take the chance of doing it. Because even their bot lane is kinda a little bit behind. CS, like... Yes. That is like 20 CS above your opponent or your yeah, jungle. I mean, that's the highest in the game right now. That's... Mm -hmm. And it seems much. like Soft Cookie is attempting a gank here out to uh, 
aim for. I wonder if it's gonna be successful though. Oh, here comes a counter game oh. by Pompkins. Oh, and a kill. Oh, oh. And Aurora gets a kill on Toxic Wood Player. Oh my, it's just... It's like skirmish after skirmish. Yeah, I mean, there's all this stuff happening on this map. It's so mm -hmm. hard to keep track of which action to prioritize. Yeah. And it seems oh. like, oh... Honkins, uh, I don't think he can get the kill here onto Soft Cookie. But if Soft Cookie stays, maybe he'll die to uh, Ponkins. But other than that, I don't think Ponkins can get any kill here. All right. So that was a good smite steal by uh, Soft Cookie here. But even then, he's still behind in terms of jungle camps. Yeah. It is like 30 CS, about 32 CS. Oh, and. Oh. oh wow unfortunate that is so unfortunate that is that he had to die <sighs> that hurts to the that is difficult but you know I, i've restarted the timer and these guys are only a minute uh, mm -hmm. of uh injury time if you will in so they still have yeah quite a bit of opportunities here to to pause and react so Oh, okay. It seems like okay. Uh, also Toxic World Player decided to restart his game as well. So, one thing that I'm going to mention here is that when it comes to best of threes, right, it's all about the mental edge for these teams, just because they usually do best of ones, right? Yeah. So, like, I wonder if this is going to maybe, like, tilt FD, or is it not going to tilt them, right? Just because of how they're experiencing internet issues, and then they're also getting... Um, out jungled by or Ponkins is out jungling soft cookie here. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's going through their minds right now. I don't right? think I actually don't think these guys will tilt uh, because of that. I what I question mm -hmm. is whether they're mentally prepared and focused to actually play. Like I, I yeah. find that these guys sometimes they goof around a bit too much or mm -hmm. uh, you know just have bad um, execution like of game plan. Yeah. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. they pretty much throw some games away. So if they can remain focused, they can make it competitive throughout the game, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, right now, Pumpkins is far ahead. And really, Super far ahead. Soft Cookie tried to capitalize on a couple of gank opportunities. And, you uh -huh. know, it was but only he was successful just once. Too much so. time. Way too much time wasted, I think. So, I mean, he's, look at that. I, that's more than double his CS right and now. And also, the fact that he died in the jungle as well, and he had to DC, just hurt him more than it should, right? Yeah. Just because he can't get his camps anymore. Definitely. But it seems like maybe Pontkins here is gonna try to secure or set up for the Cloudrake here. Just because there's no jungler around. Or the... Oh, I don't even know if... He might get jumped here if anything. Okay, no. It doesn't seem like it. They're just pinging him away. Like, I don't, I don't think... Um... Got a pause or, a little I don't, pickup. Yeah, I don't think uh, if I'm if I'm FD, like I'm letting Pumpkins do whatever he wants. There's no mm -hmm. like you're at the it's at that point in the game where you know what are you gonna do like sacrifice your lane advantage to try to gank Pumpkins? It's not gonna happen. So yeah, or to collapse on him. Focusing on your game, aim for coming mid. They're looking to get Toxic Wood player, but he's too close to the tower. Mm -hmm. Looks like he is gonna be fine. Uh, good attempt. Or nice attempt by Game 4 here with the roam. Oh, it seems like he's staying again to see if he could gank um, Toxic Wood player here, but uh, he gives up and just decides to go back to his lane. And this is going to give Ocean Can some, some time to, to catch up on farm, but even Ocean Can, he is down 20 CS. Yeah, so, like, that is super unfortunate. That, and it's that's like. A lot. And the thing is, is that he tried to push in the wave towards the tower, but then Aimfer was able to still catch it, so he doesn't really miss anything. Wow. I mean, is that just a... Uh, oh, as we see uh, Aurora going in the mid, we got like a fight. Oh, okay. Seems like they're fighting here. And it looks like Toxic Wood Player is gonna get the wow. kill here onto Aurora. Wow. Good patience on Toxic Wood Player's part, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so what were you mentioning earlier? Um... 
I don't remember what oh, I was okay. mentioning. No, I think we, I think we were talking about top lane and how um, you know aim four went to assist mid and didn't lose mm -hmm. out on CS. So yeah, I think that was still worth it, honestly, on his part, just because he roamed and he didn't really miss out on anything. I mean, he's so he still gets the CS. gold and the uh, XP. Yeah. And here he goes, pressure. Oh my god, he's. That is it just feels like Soft Cookie doesn't have a jungle at this point, right? He oh, doesn't. look at that. Toxic and Toxic Wood, Wood, Wood player just gets collapsed on. Yeah, and this is what happens when your jungler is behind than the other jungler. You basically just don't have one anymore. Oh yeah, now I know what I was mentioning. Um, so with uh, Malphite's uh, situation, does it, does he like not have good wave clear? I mean, is yes, this like. One one of his weaknesses or no 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 he does have good wave player it's just depending on the person itself right mm -hmm. it just depends on how you use your spell and all that good stuff but so, maybe he just yeah. didn't rush it enough yeah push it i mean he had a ton of time for free cs up top so he should have mm -hmm. really he shoved known. that wave right yeah shoved that wave despite he doesn't know where the renekton's at right mm -hmm. i mean he shouldn't be afraid he has flash and his ultimate unstoppable force to at least, you know, get away from my gank by Hawkins. But he maybe he was just too scared. Right. Yeah, seems seems that way. And it seems like Hawkins here is taking the Cloud Drake. And uh FD can't really contest here just because of how behind Soft he is. But maybe Toxic Wood player here is deciding to collapse onto Pumpkins. Maybe. But I don't think they really should risk more and uh, risk any more lives just because of how behind they are. Yeah, definitely. And Aim for is just having such a field day also. Even um Pumpkins. If there's any shining or like any positive to take away right now, it's at least that the the bottom lane for FD looks like they're doing okay. They're ahead in CS, um, yeah. you know, pretty close lane. But uh, I think the only one who could probably give them a light or hope of light is um, Jome and like Toxic Wood player. Like if they could get shutdown golds from anyone who's fed on the side of collab koalas i think that maybe you know they have a chance to win but other than that it's just soft cookie is just super behind in terms of cs about 50 cs already yeah so and i mean it really doesn't help that like i mean uh Ponkins is really putting the pressure on like mm -hmm. any any gank attempt by soft cookie or random death results in him losing half of his jungle goal and next yeah. Piece, so it's just mm -hmm. rough. And then also that early gank attempt just really set him behind. Another yeah, oh, gank attempt. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. There we got the old. Going one. on to Tiffany. TP by aim four. Wow. And it seems like. I mean, it's just a, koala just turned it around. It's and, a tough yeah. dive, you know, like diving behind the tower. Mm -hmm. But it's a challenge. And the thing is, is that. Soft Cookie is too squishy to even dive or tank turrets at this point. And they also have the Lulu to keep Tiffany alive. As she had the Flash, the Lulu Ultimate, even the... She didn't even have to use it, her exhaust that whole thing. Yeah, just because they knew that they could just survive all, all of that. And they had the support of Aim4, which is his TP. As we look at the items, uh, you know, Aim4 and Nocturne or Aurora both sitting on their Mythics already. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's that's a, such a good lead for them. Um, I hope they can keep it up. And yeah, uh, I'm really not sure what FD can do here at this point. Maybe they can just keep attempting to gank bot lane, but as you can see earlier, that it wasn't even enough because they had the Lulu. The old Lulu ultimate and the shield, even the polymorph also by the Lulu, just stopped what they wanted to do. And Herald being dropped here, okay. And it seems like Soft Cookie is just going all in here. Wow, F 
AFD able to turn that oh. around. They brought extra people. Mm -hmm. Nice they and a flash. Kill. And a flash to secure the kill. Okay, that was a that was a very good roam by the bot lane of FD here. I mean that I worked guess out. All you lost was soft yeah. cookie. Mm -hmm. I mean he's behind already, so yeah, so it doesn't really matter. That worked wow, out that really was well. a very and good. You, have uh, your turret. you still have the turret. I mean it's it's almost mm -hmm. gone. You you can breathe on it and it's gonna disappear, but I mean it's still there. So. Yeah. so here's another thing that I like to mention about collab koalas is that sometimes they overcommit to things mm -hmm. where they shouldn't be overcommitting. Maybe they didn't ex expect that Rome at that, but maybe uh, Tiffany or Subliminal could have said something like, hey guys, they've been MIA for a while, you know, yada yada. Things be careful, right? But maybe they didn't say anything and that they just assumed that they recalled. True, yeah. I mean, it was a good play by FD. They need to make those types of number plays Advantages. just to yeah, just to get the an advantage in net worth because you mm -hmm. you just can't yeah. fight these guys in a yep. fair fight right now. Here we go, another engage. This is a so little deep though. Unfair. Oh, oh, okay, the binding landing by Pontkins. Soft cookie. He's just soft. He definitely is a soft cookie right yeah, now. He, he's he is a really soft cookie. Okay, and. <laughs> oh, that was. Oh, that is not gonna work out. Oh, oh. that's okay. a wipe, right? That no. Oh yeah, it is an ace. Was... Uh -huh. Wait, that's so crazy. So they sent um, five guys there, to, and then the four were just strong enough. Four v five. Yeah, that's what happens when you know the enemy jungler in the <clears throat> in the top laner is just way stronger than the opposing laners. Yep. They can just win the game for their team, even though if um, bot lane is behind, right? You still got the other lanes that are stronger. I mean, yeah, and this difference is crazy. Look, look, yeah. Top lane CS, 136 to 92. Not to mention, that was such a good ultimate by Tiffany there. If that ult did not land, maybe they could have lost that fight. Yeah. But Tiffany stunned someone. I'm not really too sure who it was, but it was just a good ultimate for her and her team just because you know it's not enough time yeah for them she's a sharpshooter man she lands a ton of those i remember her landing one of those in the finals last season uh -huh. so she's, yeah she's killer i guess it's one of her also main champions too but nonetheless it was super uh it was an important ultimate you know who's playing pretty well today that. who's landing some good stuff is skyla really landing a couple of nice hooks here and there <laughs> Yep. So especially on a champion that we rarely see on her play. Exactly. We we didn't know how she would play, how she would fare with that type of build, but it looks like she's doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now it seems that there's a decent amount of bounties on the side of collab here, and if any of the carries like Yasuo or even Jome. <laughs> Or toxic wood player can even get those shutdowns, then it would be oh, super good for them. He is in a world of hurt. You saw him put the emote of the guy like holding his head. Uh, what's the name? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't see the emote, but man, I I just feel bad for a soft cookie here. It's rough, man. It's, <laughs> life play. is hard, bro. Mm -hmm. Life is hard in that lane. If you're behind, you, it's just game over for you. Honestly, um. When I played against Ponkins and his team before in the tournament, uh, I had a hard time too. I just didn't know what to do because I was on a role that I usually don't play too. But hey, he's a really good player, right? Everyone should, everyone knows that. Yeah. But everyone has their own weaknesses too. It's just that they haven't found it yet. And it seems like a dive here is happening by Collab Koala is here. And they just take down Skyla here. That's a huge Nocturne ultimate right just beat. jumping onto Soft Cookie. Yasuo is just getting stunned here and exhausted. He can't do anything. And yep. wow. They just just they just steamrolled FD here. They're just too far behind. And, you know, they're Collab just, is like, yeah, hey look man, these guys are looking behind. for a five man death ball, so let's just go meet five with five, you know? 
Oh, that's easy. I mean, they can push this all the way down. Uh, I, I, yeah. I'm feeling pretty confident they can take two two towers here and just push this down. Mm -hmm. like, Malphite's doing his best to split, push it, and, and it you know. seems like um, I guess I would love to say that uh, a lot Koala takes game one, just despite despite how things are looking right now. Just like what I mentioned earlier, if the team of FD is not ahead, they will lose the game. And I, it seems like my theory or my hypothesis was correct. Yeah. I, they're not. I mean, they they're not, not even close to even. They are mm -hmm. far behind. It's about like 9k to 10k difference of gold. And uh, it seems that. Soft Cookie is just four levels or even five levels behind Pontkins here, just because of that Morgana. Uh, I mean, also partially. I yeah, but it's also partially Soft Cookie's fault in terms of hmm. uh, what he decided to do with his time, right? Like, oh, you know, wait a minute! Was... It seems like Aurora here is just jumping on the Toxic Wood Player with his ultimate. Man, just leave the man alone. He just wants to play some League of Legends, please. So... Oh. 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 Oh, and the Tiffany. Tiff, uh, and Tiffany ultimate. Oh. Nice. This... Yeah, um. I, I'm not sure if he can done. be overextending like that when there's a Nocturne in the enemy team. But hey. Oh, there's a turret. FD's, I mean, FD's trying their best, right? Yeah. I mean, they just need to re regroup and think about how to change. Oh, oh, and dude. there goes and that a, doesn't help, right? a DC again. Yep. Feels like uh, everything's falling apart a little bit slowly. Definitely. NK gold lead by Collab Koalas. And they're gonna get Soul Point on Ocean Drake, too. Such a good Drake against them. Um, Collab, or not collab, against FD, just because they're also behind and like, if they get uh, Ocean Soul, they're not gonna be doing damage to um to collab koalas just because this uh just because they're so behind and like every time you do damage with Ocean Soul, you get a certain amount of health back, mm -hmm. and if they don't have any like grievous wounds on the side of FD Flakers, I don't think they're gonna be having a good time team fighting against Collab Koalas. Yeah, it's this is uh It ain't looking good here. But you know it, what? It really like isn't. if if anything, it's at least it's it's so bad that it's a a game that you cannot be dis you can't be too tilted by it. Like you just gotta accept like yo, we just we, yeah, we just got gave steamrolled. It. Yeah, we got steamrolled. Yeah, like, we got steamrolled and yeah. like go next. Yeah, right? exactly. Just get, go get go into the next, the next uh, game. drafting phase or whatever. I, I honestly, here's the thing that I noticed about Guam Division. I don't know. I don't know if I could say that because you know uh, Guam Division is usually like low elo or not really pro play. But for me, I always notice that their weakness is in, is drafting wise, right? The the people who are new to this type of tournament, it's all about like they don't know how to choose the right champions or they're always going into their comfort picks because usually sometimes yeah it's your comfort pick but at the end of the day is that really what's gonna help your team right yeah yeah no i agree and like also on the side of collab koalas they know how to draft look at their drafting it's it's perfect for me personally it's perfect because you know they're abusing what's strong right now what the pros are doing you know and like uh, on the side of FD, it's just their comfort picks. I mean, uh, Kaisa Nautilus is there, but I'm not sure about the Yasuo and like the Jarvin for Soft Cookie and Toxic Wood Player. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, we look at the mid lane and the bottom lane, and it looks pretty even. It's just the uh, mm -hmm. top and jungle, it's just that gap is. Way too yeah. large this game. Top jungle and maybe mid as well. I mean, especially the top lane when Malphite was supposed to be the counter to Renekton, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's why we, you picked it, counter picked it, right? But uh, I mean, if the Renekton is up on you by seventy CS or whatever, I it think is, at the end of the day, also, I don't think 
counter counter picks don't work in this terms of like division like guam division it's all about skill right it's not about the counter play or sure, yeah, yeah, the yeah. counter picks it's just pure skill that's what i would tell my friends too like there's no such thing as counter picks it's all about how you play around it and if you can play around it perfectly then you know you could win your counter pick Now this is a quite a long pause here. I don't know how long this would take. Yeah, we, these guys still have time. So like we said, we uh, they're about seven minutes into their reserve time, so they have about you know eight minutes left, but. Uh, you know, unfortunately, they're going to have to use that over the course of their games, you know, the next oh, okay. so two or three games. It doesn't refresh every other game? No. Oh, okay. No. That makes yeah. sense then. We'd be here all day, so. Uh -huh. yeah. And I also noticed that Pontkins is about to flame Horizon soft cookie here. And that says a lot about, like, the jungle picks. For these teams. This is tough. I mean, it's a tough situation. But, you know, while we wait, it's a good opportunity to thank our sponsors. Guam Windward Memorial, Coffee Slut, Goodwood Guam, Monster Energy Drink. Um, for all their support. And Heavy Hitters Guam, of course, for the great food that they always provide us. Um, check these guys out. Check any of our great sponsors out. And stay tuned for a ton of other inf uh, things that we have going on, as well as the Apex Legends um, the, uh, May event. We have our final uh, regular 60-man tournament event will end in May. Uh, Sign-ups are still open. As well as, guys, there is a golf tournament for Coffee Slut going on next month. Sign up at Coffee Slut today. I'll get the ad up in just a little bit. Actually, I should just do that right now. Let me add that for you guys. Oops. I'll just keep us on the intermission uh, screen as we wait for... Uh, players to reconnect here so I think uh, well obviously Okuru won't be watching this game so they won't know what's going on but yeah they must be uh, they might be spectating uh, EOG versus good as gold mm -hmm. where you guys guys watch it at the EOG Chinese sports Twitch channel yeah definitely. but probably by the time you guys watch this it's a bot yeah for sure definitely so so the golf tournament is May 1st and May 2nd. Uh, and they, you know, this is the first time that the Caddy Sluts will be featured. So the new Caddy service by the owners of Coffee Slut. I think that's pretty interesting. Definitely check it out. Um, let me add this uh, image real quick. I know, guys, you don't see anything on the screen. My bad. Oh, here we go. There you go. Golf tournament May 1st, May 2nd at Starts uh, Golf Resort. Register at Coffee Slut in Aganya. Check it out. Featuring the Caddy Sluts. Great experience. Should be fun. Clock is still running here. Uh, how long has it passed? We are what 10 minutes clock? in. So 5 minutes. Oh. About 5 minutes left. What's uh what what would happen if the they pass the time already? Would they get disqualified? The clock just restarts if possible. So or the oh, okay. game restarts. Restarts? So, oh, I'm sorry, the game continues. So. Oh okay, but they can't pause anymore. No. Oh alright, alright. Yep, so let me make these guys aware.
behind the scenes like uh fd might uh, fd might just um forfeit here just because they're waiting too long for who dc again was it south cookie i believe so yeah and it seems like they might just want to ff yeah, are they saying that in the chat I haven't seen yes that. yes they are okay. um it says no word from uh no word from soft cookie can we ff yeah they said so, so i'm not too sure if they want to still do it yeah. but uh collab polish is just saying it's up to them but i don't know if they know but the, the clock is ticking for them yeah let me message them We'll see. This is so unfortunate for uh, this match to to be caught especially, up in the situation, you know. Especially it being the quarterfinals. Yep. Very unfortunate. I mean, but you know, like even if they lose the set, they're not out of it. This is the, mm -hmm. they're in the they winners stole. bracket, so they they do have a match versus Okudu, uh, mm -hmm. and that's a very winnable match for them. They did lose the last match to Okudu, though, but they um, they did. I'm, yeah. I, I'm not sure if I watched that one yet. It was last week, I believe. I, I believe it mm -hmm. was. Okay. Well, if anything, OHS might win that one. You never know, right? Between these between these teams, anything can really just happen unexpectedly as well. But man, this is this is a very long uh, pause time. Yeah, this is pretty unfortunate. We we're, we're like two and a half minutes left here, so. I'm not seeing the in-game chat, so if uh, you know. oh, okay, yeah, I'll just let you know if anything then. Sure. So, uh, Ken, mm -hmm. since we're waiting, like, how many tournaments would there be for League? This year, this season? yes, just uh, this year. Uh, two more. So there will be a fall split. Two more. And then okay. in Christmas, I'll do like a one or two day event with uh, all teams like, that what, compete. Is it gonna be like a all star event type of thing? Kind of, yeah. So okay, like Man, that's the teams really would fun. have had to the teams would have had to play in the spring in the, or the summer. The, oh, okay, all right. But uh, that should be interesting. I, did we get oh, a reconnect? Like, uh, we... Yes, yes. So toxic blue player reconnected, and it seems like the game's resuming, and Ocean Can just dying. As soon as he came back into the game, that is, uh, man, that was really, really unfortunate for a time to be unpaused. It happens. I mean, you yeah. know, he was dead no matter what. That was, mm -hmm. The writing was on the wall, right? So. It seems like Collab Qualis is just falling back to go for the Ocean Soul point here. You know, and... I am not the uh, advocate of... Uh, surrendering matches i think you should always play out the match no matter how bad it is mm -hmm. yes but in this particular I situation agree. i would surrender this match i, w I yes. would just to flat out mm -hmm. say you know ff uh go and, next and, and like try and, again yeah and just like kind of re reset you know mm -hmm. I, I can agree on that one but you know after you they're gonna make the most of it here like, mm -hmm. And it seems like they're trying to go for the desperate uh, Baron play here. Mm -hmm. And it seems like we have a little bit of pause here. Ooh, good win wall by Yasuo here. And Nocturne all just jumping onto uh, Jome here. And Aim4 here just jumping onto the entirety of the team. Ocean can just needing to flash away here just because he can't really do anything but just tank for his team. But his team is just dead. He didn't even take most of the damage. It was his carries that took most of the damage. Even Soft Cookie here. Being the soft cookie he is, and it seems like Kalab Koala is just gonna end the game here. Yep, as they should. Uh, mm -hmm. They they are far ahead. You're looking at yeah. 11k. They're 43k but now I think, worth. Like. I'm not sure if they're gonna try to force to end this game, just because there's a lot of members spawning in into the side of FD Flakers. Maybe if they take the Baron. Oh no, wait. Did they lose the Baron? The oh. red red team took Baron. Oh, red team took it, and it seems like. A4 is just chasing down Ocean Can here, and there's no more Baron buff for the side of FD Flakers. Well, 
maybe what the maybe what Olaf can do here is just go to the side lanes and just push those lanes instead of going mid lane and a ramming it. Mm -hmm. And it seems like that's what Pumpkins is doing here, just taking down the top turret since he has nothing better to do. And man, if I was if I was uh, the side of Kalava, I would just be taking. Oh, they don't have any more jungle to take for the side of FB. Yeah, they are in a rough, rough spot. So. Yeah. So. Man. A miracle has to happen if they want to come back here. I don't know what miracle that is, but it has to be something good because uh, I don't see they're gonna come back from any this kind of this deficit. And as we can see here, Joe May just trying to see if there's any jungle camps to take, and there's actually just nothing for him to take. Feels bad, man. So. Uh... Yep. Very, very tough. And it seems like, oh, Subliminal, what are you doing by yourself? Oh, and he gets caught out here. And I guess there goes oh, Subliminal just dying just because he was trying to ward for his team. <laughs> but honestly, I don't think uh, you should be doing that by yourself, man. You should always have a teammate with you. And A4 was nowhere near you, man. Wait a minute, and it seems like they're getting collapsed on, or A4 is what? getting collapsed on here. Look oh my it. goodness, what? he's just so ahead. And here goes the shutdowns that I'm talking about earlier. Toxic would play right here just getting the shutdown of the 1000 gold from the Renekton bounty here. But when that when that was happening, uh, Tiffany and Pick Hawkins were just have, uh, taking the tower away. Yeah. And good interruption by Aurora here, stopping two recalls, which is Soft Cookie and Skyla here. Uh, I think that was just, I guess, a decent trade, but they didn't manage to get the inhib. Only maybe like three turrets. I guess that would still be a good trade for that. And it seems like one minute and twenty seconds, the ocean, ocean dragon is gonna be spawning soon. And if Collab manages to get this, they get ocean soul. Now, on the side of um, Collab, if they really want to push this lead, I think they should just stop trying to, you know, separate from each other. But like I meant to say, or like earlier when I said go silent, make sure Subliminal is just not by himself. And like if you see Game 4 getting collapsed on, I think you should just let him die and like make his death worthy of a sacrifice, right? And not just TP and just like what Aurora did and give up. Uh, I don't know if he died. I don't think he died, but I don't think he should just use those type of plays and just oh, and the wind wall blocking the enchant crystal arrow here. Okay. And there goes the game by Collab Koalas. That was the team fight that they needed. And it's GG's to Clock Koalas here. Yep. Uh. It, it was a rough game for FD, but this is two out of three, uh -huh. so they have a chance to come back in here. And I, if you're a fan of Collab Koalas, you've got to be feeling pretty good right now. Um, yep. They play really, really strong. Uh, Honkin showing why he's literally like one of the, the best, best junglers, junglers uh in in yep. the league so 241 cs over 115 that is a as a yikes yeah, for me there that was that was wild was and as we are hoping to get into game two here yep. and see what fd has has uh something for us Yeah, we will see. Uh, a tough game. So wor worst case scenario, I mean, or I mean, two scenarios here. We have, uh, we're gonna have one more game at the very least. Uh, and if FD is able to clinch a victory, then we'll have a third game, third deciding game between these two teams. 
And the losing team will go on to face Okuru immediately after. So we got about at least a couple more hours of League of Legends uh, action lined up here. As we Pretty wait. excited to see if FD would change up their plans or maybe they would just stick to it and maybe improve upon it. But um, yeah, you shouldn't be having the OP junglers up when Hawkins is playing because it seems like he's very serious. He's not picking any random uh, unorthodox junglers. He's actually playing for, for reals. Issues, but mm -hmm. I think the uh, disconnects and like Jarvin being ahead. Yes, I need to go there. Sorry if you guys are just tuning in. You're watching the Laddie Esports League Spring Split 2021. It's the pl playoffs. Uh, you're watching the winner's bracket action between FD Flakers and uh, Collab Koalas. The Koalas are up 1-0 right now. This is a best of three series. Uh, so we'll see if they'll be able to close it out. So if you're watching this, you're watching this in the future, you're watching this on Monday, Monday evening. So you already know the result between the other matchup between UOG and Good as Gold. Um, the winner of that match will be facing the winner of this set. Um, and immediately after this set, we will see the loser facing Okuru High School. Um, and that would be uh, the losers round one, the, the first round up the losers bracket so that should be coming up in just a bit uh, as we wait I'm gonna go ahead and just set up a standing by screen and take a short brief intermission
Like, both teams are ready? Oh, get right into it. Here we go. Now it seems like FD Flakers is on blue side now instead of the red side. And they still ban the Shins out here. I'm not sure if you guys learned from your from last game, but I really think you guys should just be banning Morgana here. Because uh, she's pretty strong right now. Hmm. But other than that, um, maybe they're just gonna, on the side of uh, Collab, they're just gonna ban out uh, Yone, of course, and then uh, Ocean Cans of Vladimir. Oh, there we go. Finally, yay! Now, is Collab Walla gonna ban Seraphine here just because they're on their red side and that? Uh, Seraphine could be first pick. Oh, Yumi ban. Uh oh. Oh, there's gonna be a Vladimir ban. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I'm not too sure what both teams are thinking now. But if they don't ban Diana, maybe. Oh. Uh, maybe. Hawkins can pick that, but no, they're gonna ban the Jace for aim for here. And it seems like there goes the ban for Lulu here. Now is there goes the Seraphine first pick. Hmm. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I like to see it. I love to see that. Just. Prioritizing the Seraphine first pick here since you're on blue side. And now you can probably pick um, Ocean Cans Vladimir here. Now, is that gonna be Nocturne Jungle or is that gonna be Nocturne Mid? Or even Top Lane too? I forgot that too, that he can be flexed into Top Lane. Yeah. So he can be quite flexible. Tiff is gonna go in and secure the Ash now. Mm -hmm. and play her best champ. Even Jomi can play Ash as well, because that's what they lost to. Uh, Collab Koalas lost to Jomi's Ash as well. But maybe that's not really the reason why they lost. It's all because of uh, Toxic Wood Player that time, because he was really playing out of his mind with his Yasuo against Collab. So you now, see that Collab Koalas, they oh Jarvan, he's gonna go. Soft Cookie's gonna give it another shot. You see, Collab Koalas banned the Lulu pick. Uh, which yeah. they picked last game, so you can you can see uh -huh. that they've really thought about the bans a bit. They're gonna do their best to ban out Skyla, keep her on yes. champs that she can't play. But I mean, Seraphine is a strong champ, right? So. Yeah, she's really strong. And there goes the Vladimir going to Ocean Can here. Now I hope that maybe with all these two two top tier picks, or not really top tier, or yes, Vladimir got buffed, so maybe it is a top tier pick. And there goes the Diana pick. For Ponikins. Now I wonder if uh aim I wonder if Collab Koalas is gonna ban out Toxic Gold player here. Mm -hmm. If they're gonna just ban out his Yasuo or maybe his Aurelia, as he mentioned. Yeah. Oh no, Gragas, I guess, because he plays Gragas too. Since he mentioned it. Are we going to ban out aim for here with his Cannon. Cannon and. Uh, oh, let's crank. Or subliminal. I guess that's smart just because they don't know uh, the support pick yet. Yeah. So they're just trying to be safe here. I mean, and Leona's just still so let's out crank. there, right? Like Leona, Alistair. Mm -hmm. Leona, Alistair, Rel, even. Rel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Rel plus Diana ulti? Oh my goodness. I think it will just be game over for. Uh, FD here, if Collab Koala can execute it properly. There's a target ban, Kaisa. Kaisa. Kaisa uh, for Jomei here. I wonder who they're gonna ban. Maybe Kennen? No, nope. Angry. Subliminal's Alistar. I guess that's good since there's no uh, engage for. Um, for the side of Subliminal here. But Rel is still up. 
so maybe that might be a pick. But maybe Rel into Seraphine might not be too good. We'll see here. I mean, maybe FD has a plan of their own and they're just hiding something that we don't know as well. Maybe the Seraphine might be toxic with players, Seraphine. And Skyla could go back to Nautilus. So I'm not sure. So A trans for A trans for um A4 and then Bane for Jome. Bane and Seraphine. Uh it's a good combo as well. Just because of Seraphine being able to boost um, the Vayne and uh, she can probably use Vayne as a connector a for her ulti. Wow. A Kali pick. Okay. Now we haven't really seen Toxic with players a Kali here, but maybe he's been practicing on a spur for another account. Because I would, I would do the same too if I was in this type of tournament. I wonder what last pick is this? Galio. Hmm. Interesting. Now it seems like uh, Collab Koalas, they all just want to go all in into uh, FD Flakers team comp. But the thing is, is that if they want to do that, it would be beneficial for Vladimir because if you, if your team comp just decides to go all in, that means you're also clumped up together, right? And when Vladimir uses his, his uh, E and his ultimate, then that means four of you guys would be caught in his ulti as well. So let's see if Ocean Can can pull off a good four-man ulti or even a five-man, depending on how things go. But I feel like uh, FD here has the better team comp and or no both teams have the better team comp are like good teams because uh for for fd flakers they both have scaling where the vladimir the vein like maybe even seraphine just because she gets better on later on to the game and collab koala just wants to go all in and if they can if they manage to like do a good team fight maybe fd here might just lose the game or like have a rough game of team fighting yep possibly um you know if you're just tuning in you're watching the ladder esports spring split 2021 uh thank you to sponsors guam winware memorial heavy hitters monster energy goodwood custom wood workshop as well as coffee slut uh, and speaking of coffee slut be sure to sign up for the golf tournament may 1st may 2nd at starts uh, guam golf resort uh you can register at coffee slut in agania that is the premiere of the um caddy sluts which is the new caddy service that uh, they offer you know they drive around and provide drinks and support for golfers so if golf is your thing you'd like to get out of the house and hit the links check the link anyway back to uh the game as we wait, we've got like a minute 30 here. Uh, oh wait, so Galio, Subliminal on the Galio. I guess it's one of his uh, also engaged top, uh, engaged supports, which would suit him more Interesting. than the uh, Enchanter role. But hey, he still did good with the Lulu. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. But, you know, like, if I'm a FD, I'm not even thinking about game one. Like, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. So yep. that is an outlier, outlier, if anything. I would just move mm -hmm. on and just be like, hey, this is unfortunate. Uh, let's just do our best here. Game two. Let's take they beat these guys once before, so it's possible. Maybe they can do it again. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Don't lose hope. Definitely not. And have the better mental, too. Because uh, mental... Uh, can come a long way when it comes to these best of threes. Mm -hmm. 
especially since you're used to best of ones, right? Where, oh, it's just one game, you know, let's do this, guys. But this time it's like, oh, there's another game after this one. So, at the end of the day, it is just the mental edge that both our FU would have since uh, they, they're only, they've been doing best of ones. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We'll see what, we'll see how this thing plays out. Hopefully their internet connections, uh, uh -huh. you know, maintain yeah. because they Hopefully are. Hopefully they, close they restarted everything. Because uh, that was very unfortunate that Soft Cookie had to die in his jungle and that just really set him back too. It looks like it looks like Kalapwala here wants to start an invade against some um, FD Flakers here. Okay, I'm just trying to get and the game up. There we go. Finally. It seems like they don't know about this, and this is why you always do five point strikes, guys, because uh, eventually it'll hurt you guys at the end of the day, and they get noticed here. And unfortunately, nothing really happens. That could have been disastrous. Yeah, that could have been really disastrous. Maybe if Collab Koala stayed in the bottom brush a little longer, maybe they could have gotten something off of it. But other than that, uh, FD noticed it. Or the, the bottom side of uh, the ball later. They noticed, so there goes that. And uh, it seems like it's, it is Diana jungle. Yeah. So Diana is one of the also scary junglers as of right now, just because she has a fast clear too. Just because of the attack speed she gets from uh, her Q and her... Uh, I'm not sure if it's the passive, but she also has a good sustain in the jungle. As of right now. And I wonder if Soft Cookie here is gonna attempt a early game uh or an early early gank for aim for here. But I'm hoping he doesn't do it just because he's just gonna probably get behind again just like a last game and Honkin so used it to his advantage. But it seems like he's not gonna do it. Since both jungle junglers are gonna be on opposite sides. Like nothing's nothing extra is really happening for both teams here. Even skirmishes, and it seems like a uh, aim four is getting pushed into his tower. So I wonder if. Uh, soft cookie here is just gonna be ganking ball lane here, but there is a ward where he can get spotted. So there's that, and I won. If Hawkins here is gonna clear out the, is he gonna go gank? Is he gonna go look for a gank for uh, Ocean Can? Oh, here Looks we like go. He is going. Here we go. There's the gank that I was talking about. Is he gonna flash for this though? 
Oh, and he just barely lives. Maybe if Ankins committed a little bit more there, he could have gotten the kill on through Ocean Cat. But, you know, he was playing safe. So, good discipline by Ankins. And it looks like there was no gank, uh, there was no uh, attempt gank onto uh, FD's bottom lane. I mean, Soft Cookie has to be careful about this because this is how he can fall behind. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Ankins just took his Gromp again. Man, uh, I'm not really sure about this. Oh, yes, that's another thing about Ankins too. He is not afraid to go into your jungle. He will always try to keep track of where you are. Mm -hmm. And then, wait a minute, and it seems like a first blood might happen here in mid lane. And first blood goes to Pontkins. And Toxic Wood player falling down to Pontkins here. And good uh, good rotation overall by uh, It's Pontkins a big kill here. too. I mean, that's going to allow Aurora a chance to catch up. He was a little <laughs> bit behind in CS. Yes. Um, so that's a sigh of relief on the side of Collab Koalas there, as we see now, uh, Ocean Can keeping up. Another thing- oh wait a minute, oh, Jomei that? getting a kill in bot lane. Oh, oh wow, Cookie. so Soft Cookie ganking for bot here. I guess it was really a- oh wait a minute, it's are they attempting to do a dragon here? But I mean look at the level difference again, like Soft Cookie is level 4, Honkins and it's level 6. six. And he's 12 CS above. Well, they don't know that they're doing this. They would just assume that FD just um, recalled here. So, good intuition by FD here taking the dragon. And it seems like uh, a skirmish is, is happening here in mid lane. Oh, TP coming in by aim for here just to help out Aurora. And it seems like. Toxic wood player just gets away safely here. And just recalls. Okay, that's good. So as I was gonna mention earlier, I think uh people who are like in Guam division should start taking TP in mid lane. So just in case you die early or like you get away safely but there's minions pushing into your tower, you could just TP to tower so you don't miss that XP and gold. But I guess they want to just try to like, I don't know, kill pressure, but hey, you're against some really good players, so... Wait a minute, it seems like a aim for here is just gonna run down Ocean Can, and he doesn't get the kill here. Good, good flash Pontius by Ocean might... Can, but wait a minute, Pontius might just kill him here. Oh, oh no. Unfortunate. Oh, a little freeze here. It's the jungle difference, man. Like, it's, mm -hmm. uh... Oh no, Pontkins, oh. please. He just wants to play the game again, man. Now, it seems like, like oh my... You can't challenge I... that. Wow. Yeah, you can't challenge that. You're just behind already. Man. That's tough. That's a big throw. Those are two big deaths right there. Like, it's huge. Mm -hmm. You know, FD was... Yeah, you know, they're they're hanging pretty tough. Like they're doing pretty well. They were they were doing good earlier, but then now that Hawkins has three kills, oh no, it seems like a dive might happen here in mid lane. And okay, good. That uh toxic player here doesn't die. Cause if he dies again, uh, it's gonna spell doom for um FD here. Man, so Ponkins being ahead super early, he already has a 350 gold bounty. That says a lot. Now he's just gonna pop, he's just probably just gonna use his uh, lead. Oh, wait, Ash Arrow. Tiffany ulting in, and it seems like he didn't get to manage to get oh. the kill here. Soft cookie flashing in. Nocturne TP ult combo happening here. And it seems like. Oh, okay, and the flash going through by Jomain trying to get our getting uh, Aurora here. But it's not gonna be enough. Oh, and the roam goes. And the roam coming through by Toxic player. 
Oh, toxic wood player is gonna kill. Okay. Him. I guess um I guess he just evened it out. Since he got two it was a two for two. Good trade. Nonetheless, but as I was saying, there was the combo by uh Aurora here with the ult and then TP, so they don't know where you're TPing from. And guess what? Despite him dying, he still gets a big, big wave of gold and XP. Oh my goodness. That is still worth it for them, for a collab, or Aurora specifically, since he's the one that made the play. And as we see here is that Pankins again, being three levels ahead of Soft Cookie here, he could just literally take uh, Soft Cookie's jungle and he's not going to be scared about it. And as we can see, oh, fell flash going through by a uh, aim for here trying to knock the ocean can but not connecting and it seems like another dive is happening oh mm. wait a minute so there's a pause on the side there of the... man i feel bad for ocean can this is the second time where it paused and he's gonna see his death so i'm not really sure about that one Alright, there we go. Man. Well, I mean, you know, this is, this is just tough. Like, yeah, it's a tough matchup between, or not between, but it's a tough matchup for FD. You know, they're going against a very experienced team, you know, champions of last tournament. What was it? The Was it the fall spring split? 2020, yeah, the, a lot of esports? Yeah, or last, like the fall season. Uh huh. So. Yeah. So they were the champions. They, they went undefeated. That says a lot for a team. Right. And there goes Ocean Can dying again, unpausing, unfortunately. And it seems like a, an, attempt, an attempt gank by Top Cookie here in the mid lane. Oh, Gally ulti coming through. And it's not gonna be enough. Okay, they are gonna get Aurora. Right? Yep, and they might get Sublimo. Sublimo having to flash out of the Jarvan ulti here. Pontkin's yeah. collapsing onto Toxic Wood player. Oh, Whoa, oh player. okay! Flash, Toxic okay. Wood player! Oh, alright! Oh. oh, and this is... I mean, all of it was pretty good until this point when Pontkin's just killed everybody. Uh -huh. Yep, and it seems like... Like, that's Game the one, one guy really... you don't want to get big. And yeah, exactly. Huge. And it seems like uh, the game one is repeating itself. Yeah. Um, honestly, it looks like it's repeating itself. Because Pontkins is 50 CS ahead and he's... Uh, what, let's see. Three levels ahead of Soft Cookie here. Honestly, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's just the jungle path thing, you know? Like, soft, uh, yeah. Pontkins is just abusing the fact that, you know, he knows where Soft Cookie is on the map and he's mm -hmm. just stealing the jungle and it seems like a fight is happening here in the top lane too between aim for and ocean can here is ocean can gonna live out of this one and it seems like he won't and aim for killing ocean can and it toxic with player ganking um aim for here i wonder if he's gonna get the is he gonna manage to get the kill here and he does okay good trade but they lose the dragon for this and it's gonna be Mountain Dragon too. Pretty good dragon for them, since they can get a little bit of resistances, like MR and armor. Another Ocean Dragon. Wow. What are the odds? Two games in a row. Seems like a little bit of a skirmish is happening. And the ball in. Honk is just staying in mid menacingly. Not knowing what's. Oh, okay. Good ult. By Skyla here. And they managed to get Tiffany. TP coming in by aim 4. 
And it seems like also Ocean can TP then to counter. Ooh. Okay. And wow. aim for just falling down. Okay, so now this might give them a little bit of a light of hope for the side of. Uh, they were down like FD. four, almost six k, and now they're down two mm k. -hmm. So it was a big yeah. swing. And they both ha they they have shutdown golds for two laners, which is Vayne and Valkali here. Now, if they manage to collapse onto. Ponkins here, maybe, maybe, just maybe, there's a chance of them really, really coming back and taking the game two from collab. And we're gonna see a game three. Other than that, I'm not really sure how they're gonna collapse onto Ponkins when he's four levels ahead with six kills and he's about to get his, his own uh, mythic item here. And speaking of mythic items, both mid laners already having theirs by 14 minutes. And even uh, Skyla here having her Moonstone here. So recently they changed Moonstone where it gives uh, the healing is the mythic is the mythic now. So it's a little bit different now. So I'm not really sure if it was strong or not. I haven't been a. I haven't been playing the the Seraph, uh, Seraphine with the new Moonstone yet, so I'm not too sure. And and it seems like Sakuki here attempting to take the Herald, but aim for stopping him. Saying no, you can't have this. We'll just set you behind more, and he doesn't get to take it. And look at Ponkins just having a field day in the. FD Flakers is jungle, and I think they might know about this. No, they they don't actually. Uh oh, Skyla, you might die here. Oh, there's two different skirmishes happening. Ponkins just taking down Skyla here, and the fight between uh, Aurora and Toxic Blue player stops. Since Subliminal just ulted in, and it seems like a fight between Aim4 and Ocean Can is happening. Is Ocean Can gonna die here? Nice. Oh, maybe he will die to Pumpkins again. Man, Pumpkins is just really ahead. He is about 4k gold. Ahead of soft, soft cookie here, and uh, that says a lot. That you should be banning out really OP junglers, and that you should know what junglers are OP. Because if you don't, Pumpkins will just abuse it and steamroll you guys just like this. Now, can um you? What do you think FD could, should be doing here? They're just this behind. Oh, wait you a know, minute. I don't know. I they're not like they, they were behind much more earlier, but they're not that mm -hmm. far behind right now. I yeah. would just play pretty cautiously and do everything you can to defend your say your your bottom lane. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and just have Ocean Camp push out the top when he can. Like you don't have the tower there anymore, so that lane's kind of dead. But yeah. But we've seen and it that seems like the Aurora. If they can get a kill in on Aurora, that might be okay, but they don't. So that's a tough scene. Like, you can't have Jomei die. Like, mm -hmm. you've already lost... Uh, well, you know, top lane is not that different, I think, even though um, Aim 4 has a couple more kills. Uh, but the jungle is pretty different. Mid lane is looking pretty even. Um, yeah. So I would do my best to try to win bottom lane as hard as I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I can agree on you with that one because their their soul, carry, or like their hope of winning this game is just really vain. Mm -hmm. Just because she has a her true damage does a lot of damage, right? And other than that, I am not sure if Ocean Can can do something because he's also behind. And he looked it looked like he rushed Cosmic Drive here. 
very odd item for you to rush early because uh, it doesn't really help you. It's usually used. It's usually bought as a third item or even a second item, mostly. Because hmm. uh, the new thing it does, like if you have at least 160 ability power, you gain 20 ability haste and 21 movement speed, or like any type of movement speed. And it seems like a fight is happening in the enemy jungle of. And it seems like a fight is happening in the jungle on the side of FD here. Wow, Toxic would play. Oh, Toxic would play with his Akali. Okay. This guy is pretty clean with his, uh, his Akali. Maybe this is what's his secret weapon, but I don't think it's enough for... I really don't think it's enough for... For... Uh, <clears throat> FD for players. FD to win. Yeah. Yes, to win their game. Because they're, they're still behind. Look at this jungle gap. It's super big. Here we go, the Herald is going to take uh -huh. mid. Uh, you know what so, I think is interesting uh, is that as soon as the top tower went down, um, yeah. they went ahead and sent Ash top. Because, you know, it's, it's a lot safer now than the mm -hmm. main yes. bottom. Yes. And this allowed uh, eight trucks or aim for more space. Another kill by Pumpkins here mid. Uh, aim for uh, more space on the map to, you know, put pressure in. Like now he's bottom, putting pressure on bottom tower. And, you know, the three other guys are just roaming and getting kills all over the map. Yeah. Man, and, like, look at Diana's CS compared to Jarvan's CS. It's 230 to 84. Um, look at her CS compared to anyone else in this game right now. That is... She she is, she has the most huge. CS, and she's a jungler, by the way. That's crazy. That is, I don't know what's That is going wild. On. That's crazy, and then she has a ton of kills, like, she's 11 and 0, I mean, yeah. she is... Yeah, she, she's just really strong. She is, like, 12 kills, 12 gold ahead of, like, everyone, 12 gold, 12k gold, actually, not 12 gold, 12k gold, richer than the rest of his, the rest of enemy team. Now, I don't think they can just come back from this. It's crazy. Honestly. She came out to, she came to play her Pumpkins came to play today. Right? Yeah, he he play he woke up in bed and be like, you know what? I'm just gonna play serious. I'm not gonna fool around, choose some weird jungler. I'm just gonna play what's meta and like make my team not you know, make them feel relaxed, right? Yeah, definitely. It's pretty I and you know like the rest of the guys are doing great. Aim for mm -hmm. yeah yeah the top lane. It's Tiffany Subliminal, Aurora, they're doing all good, but yeah. you don't have to try as much, right? I mean, it's just different. Like, yeah, and you know, like, on the um, side of FD, like, mid lane, Toxic Wood player, Jomi, they've been holding it down. Like, th mm -hmm. those yeah. lanes, for the most part, are pretty even. But, no, it's just, uh, you know... The jungle gap is just too big. It is, and it's, you know, impactful. It makes a huge impact on, mm -hmm. on how the game is going to play out, so... You know, it's kind I of think... late to address the situation, but mm -hmm. other teams, when they see this, they're going to have to figure out a way to control Pumpkin. Yeah. Because his, his presence is just It's too, too much. Big. Yeah. And, like, I think you guys just need to ban him out. Or, like, ban out the strong junglers. Don't even, like, specifically ban his known champion. You just ban out what's currently broken, because that's what he's going to use. Yeah, or at least you don't want him to use that. Right, like, yeah, or use it yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Thirty seconds. Ocean Drake is spawning for Soul Point, and I'm not sure if if he can even survive a team fight. Wait a minute, here he goes. And oh, the four man ulti by Tonkins. Oh my goodness, wow. is he gonna get a penta kill? No, he doesn't because Aurora steals the penta. <laughs> Wow! Aurora. Why Aurora? Just let him have his glory. It doesn't matter though. He doesn't need the glory because he's already getting it. He didn't need the... He didn't need it. Because he's getting it. Despite this gap. And it looks like it's gonna be game over for FD Flakers. Man, that was just... That was clean. That was, very such a... that was super clean. Very, very clean game by... Pontkins specifically. This man, he's playing uh he's not playing League of Legends, he's playing a different game. 
was awesome. Good game on the part of both teams. Um, but unfortunately for... for yeah, it's going to be game over. Yep, they're going to move into the loser's bracket, but they still got another chance to for their playoff hopes to stay alive. To redeem here. themselves. 